Hello, welcome Hi. back to Vintage and Vino. Cheers. Our YouTube channel. We appreciate you showing up. Grab your wine. Let's get to the vintage. And the wine that we're having tonight. Shiraz. Shiraz. Again. We love Shiraz. What can I say? But it's it'll probably be favorite. something different next time. Maybe something we're good different. For, next we're getting time. kind of yeah. getting kind of tired of it. Yeah. Well, I'm not tired of it. But we gotta change. Gotta have a change. So what are we going to do here tonight? Let's see. We're going to do a haul. This is what we got. This, 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 is, is, this is Goodwill. Oh, this is Goodwill Sun City. And yes. we hadn't been there in years. So. Years? Oh, yeah, that, yeah. This is the one that we haven't been there in a long, long time. Yeah, we haven't been there in a really long time. So. Anyway, so what we're going to do today. We're going to go over the haul that we did at uh, at uh, Goodwill and Sun City. It was Sun City West, actually. But uh, here's one of the things we got, another Tupperware item. I really like Tupperware items. They tend to sell pretty fast. Yeah, Tupperware's good. Yeah. So, did you want to go over the whole uh, unusual things again? No, no, we already said that once. We talked about we that talked in the last We talked about that video. last time. No, I just, if I see a good piece of Tupperware, I'll pick it up just because if I don't sell it, I'll use it. Yeah. 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 And pink. Pink is 90s. It's from the 90s. Yeah. yeah. Here's another piece. Same which thing. We kind of thought, you know what? We started out with this because we were doing pretty good with it. Our daughter does really well with it. She sells a lot of corning wear. But, you know, it's just not really unusual. So, mm -hmm. I think we're going to slow down on the corning wear a little bit. And this is another wear. piece. It's a perfect piece. Uh, it's a corning wear two and a half quart. So it's a bigger, one of the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it, like I said, it's it's like it's brand it's new. It's really good. I mean. Yeah. It's in really good condition. It's in really good condition. Really, really good mm -hmm. condition. Yeah. It's so a good one. We'll be putting that and, on. And I'll, and I'll list it, but we're going to try, we're really going to try to look at things that are a little more out of the ordinary. Because I think that's just more fun. And we learn more. And, and I suspect that you guys learn more that way. So... And this is another thing that's not out of the ordinary, but everybody loves them. I actually have two to list uh, with the red handles, which are 50s from the 1950s. Yeah. The red handles. This one's from the 50s? That's what I'm talking about. This oh, okay. One. Yeah, okay. red handles, 50s. Green handles, 30s. What were the 40s? I don't know. Blue? <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know. Here's a little vase that we picked up. It's very, actually it doesn't look like it from afar, but up close you can see it's it's colorful. Mm -hmm. It's got greens and reds. And mm -hmm. It's kind of terracotta color on the inside. Yeah. It's California pottery. Yes, it is. At look Goodwill. at that. At Goodwill. California pottery California at Goodwill. Pottery. What do you know? And I only found one other one like this. Uh, when I started doing the research, and it had, it was a different color. It was a chartreuse, and and the outside was this dark green kind of bark. It looks like tree bark. That's kind of yeah. Uh, you know, and so it's kind of cool. And California pottery, a good collectible. Yeah. What color exactly is chartreuse? It's kind of a greenish yellow. Okay, so kind of a lime green. No, lime no. green is lime green. Chartreuse is chartreuse. <laughs> Okay. I'll see if I can find something there that you go. color and there show you go. it to you one of these days. This is another piece of California pottery. California pottery, yes. Another little quirky California from pottery Goodwill. piece. Uh -huh. From the Goodwill. The Sun City Goodwill so had some stuff. It has a little chip. Anyone USA. It has a little chip on the foot. I believe it's on the foot. On the foot? Uh, where is it? I know I saw it. Oh, right, right here. here. Yeah, on the foot. It's got a little chip right there. But too. it doesn't, it's... Doesn't show from the top, from the front. No, it and, is on the uh, back yeah. right here. And it doesn't sit wompy jawed or anything. Sit, it doesn't yeah. sit bad. It looks nice yeah. from, the, from the front. I guess you could consider it a tray or a platter, but it's heart shaped. It's a fruit Good for platter. Valentine's. Hey, and it has strawberries. Put some chocolate covered strawberries on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking my language. Yeah, gotta get that listed soon. Yes. 
Yes. Maybe I'll make some chocolate covered strawberries to display it in oh, the pictures. Just put them on a big, put them on a big platter and drizzle them, drizzle them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, yeah. Here's another that. one. Another one. What is that? One? <laughs> Something you want to fix? Probably. Yeah. Something I need to fix, but I don't know that I want okay. to. But okay. I probably probably need to. Well, what is this? What is this? This looks like a little powder dish. <laughs> That's what it is. Hey, look at that. It's porcelain, lavender with some flowers, um, and probably from the fifties, maybe earlier. Um, not marked, not marked, which really kind of surprised me. It might have had a sticker, maybe. But, you know, women like to put these on their vanity. Loose powder was a thing. It was either the loose powder that they would put the talc on after a bath, or they also had loose powder that was face powder. Yeah, yeah, like that. And uh, so, it was always. Yeah, it used to come, we usually come with a little, like a little sponge type thing. You put it in there. It wasn't a sponge. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you don't know anything about women things, do you? No, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. I never, ever okay. pretended to. Well, oh, this is way, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. it, this is a cylinder base. I wonder why. I, I wonder, yeah. Hand painted, hello, hello, hand painted. Hello. Once again, not marked, but I don't care. It's pretty. It's a good size. It's big. It's probably it is 20 a, it inches is, tall. I think so. And it is hand painted and it's done really well. And whoever painted it didn't sign it, which to me is like, what? What? Why wouldn't you sign that? But it's not signed. It's got the gold around the top. Gold ring around the top. It's very nice, very nice. Very it's glass. It's not. Uh, no, yeah, it's, it's definitely it's glass. It's glass. Yeah, it's, it's done well. Yeah, I like it. I like done it. Done very, very well. What kind of flowers are those? I do not know. They're pink, pink flowers. Okay, pink flowers. <laughs> this, uh, you know. I don't know how you're gonna show that. I'm not going oh. to very well, but they'll get the hint. They'll, they'll understand. Well, you remember the orange one that I broke the other day. Well, I found this green and white one, and uh, it's also a Lazy Susan uh, condiment dip and This chip. one's uh, different than I most, like this, though, though, because this one, the center bowl, is actually divided in three mm -hmm. sections. Yeah. Which is really kind of cool. My daughter came over the other day, and we said, w how perfect would this be for taco night? Because, you know, you got your guacamole, sour cream, salsa, right. and Let's then... You got okay. some lettuce and tomato, some cheese. What else? What else? I don't know. You know, so onion. So, uh, yeah, this would be great for taco night. Perfect. Perfect for that. The uh, ceramic itself is in very good condition. The Lazy Susan tray is pretty scratched up, but it doesn't show when the lays when the ceramics on it really it might be something absolutely could be something that could be uh re somebody's restained paint. somebody's painted is it's that what it paint is on it. yeah it's been painted okay so. yeah the lazy susan and i would use the other lazy susan from the orange one that got broken but it was smaller than this than this set this set is bigger than the orange one here i'm gonna try to give you oh God. an idea oh God. i'm not gonna turn it i'm just gonna yeah. turn it like this it's nice see it's nice so it, Goes together really yeah, nice. Yeah, it has this thing in the center. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm That's really cool. Mm hmm I see a lot of these listed, uh, these middle parts listed online by themselves. Just the handle? Yeah, no, the whole bowl. Oh, like the that. Bowl. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, but I don't think they realize what it is because they don't list it as the middle of the chip and dip. They well, just list because, it as a probably because just like this. Somebody we broke, broke it. One, yeah. <laughs> the last one. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. I need a drink of wine. That's true. Drink of wine. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers, yeah. cheers to you guys, too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. We're having a little. Uh, it's not, not really, an argument. Not really an argument. It's, it's a, a little it's a, debate. A little personal yeah, debate. Yeah, a little debate. This is gorgeous. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Well, it's nice. It's so shiny. It's. I love this amber.
color. Uh -huh. it's just... Yeah. Tim picked this out of Goodwill. He, he picked it up and he, he likes it a lot. And I think it's pretty. This is called um, a tiger pattern. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I thought. Uh -huh. It looks a little bit like a tiger. It reminds me of the globes from the 70s. The, 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 uh, reminds me of the ceiling everything. globes. Well, that too. Yeah. Yeah. But it's pretty. It's ribbed. The question is, I think it might be Murano. And I think she, it's not. Murano. She doesn't think it is, but, but she's gonna put it on her. I did. She's on a, a, a glass group, identification a glass Facebook identification group on on Facebook. Yeah, we'll see what they say. They're very helpful. I don't know if you guys remember the bowl we had that had the the curled. It was amber and uh, it was red. probably a uh, couple of weeks it ago. It was red and green. And yeah, amber. and amber. That turned out to be Murano, and we didn't think it was going to be so. Um, yeah, we were pretty pretty excited about that. This I don't, I don't think it's Murano, but he does. But we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're, we'll find out who made it. Maybe we'll see. It's we'll pretty. See. It is pretty. It it's pretty, but it's just to me is like, is it a vase? Yes, it's a vase. It's of just it's so a vase. such it's an odd bottom, shape. And it's got a narrow neck, so yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's a vase. This would look cool with some of those battery-operated um, fairy lights in yeah. there. Yeah, it would. It would. It would okay, just so, really... And I don't know if you were watching uh, our last video that we did on our haul from... Estate Sales. Estate Sales yeah. and Surprise and Sun City. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a gourd that was really cool. And guess what? We found another one. Mm -hmm. This one is awesome, just as awesome. It's got a hand painted on the front. It's this one's not as southwestern as the other one. It's not as southwestern, but it's, I it's mean. It's pretty good. It's done well. Decorated gourds are just, they scream southwestern. I mean. Yeah, I guess. Just, no matter what they got painted on them, they just scream. <clears throat> I'm from the southwest. Okay. So, anyway, look how pretty that is. It, yeah. It is. Um, but it was done in 90-something. Uh, some lady. 97. Jan somebody. Jan. Jan Roder. Yeah. If you're, Jan, if you're watching, we have your gourd. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there um, it is. There it is. And it's it's done well. I like the top yeah. of it. I mean, it takes some talent. It's like a and the painting. basket woven top. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know. This would be really pretty with a potted plant in it. I wouldn't put the dirt in it, but oh. I just set the pot down in it. Oh, well. What, what would you use it for? Just to, uh, just set it up on a shelf. No, no, I think a plant. I think It would cover this beautiful wicker. Not, not if you get one with a stem or something. Okay. Yeah. You would. And here is our next item. Did you check and see if this was uranium? It, I did. It's not. It's not. It's yellow depression glass, but it, it doesn't glow, which kind of surprises me because a lot of the glass from back then glowed. This one does not. And I've had these reamers, strainers, juicers. Yeah, it's a juicer. It's not a strainer. Juicer. It's a juicer. I've had these it's before. Cool. I had one before it was in clear and it, it didn't sell. But I know the yellow and the green are more popular. So for, you know, two dollars, I picked it up. Because uh, it's it's worth a try. And there are only I only saw one or two other yellow ones um out there. That's cool. It's mm -hmm. got a little spout. I would have loved it if it glowed. A little spout yeah. to pour. Mm -hmm. once, you, once you juice it, you can yeah. pour it out. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be used more decor decoratively. Decorative? Yes, I don't think anybody's actually going to do their juice that way. But you never know. Oh, some people still do. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's nice. My mom still does. She's 86 years old, though. Yeah, just a couple more well, it items. It was Goodwill, you know. Just a couple more items to show you. So, today's video will be a little bit short. Uh, this is a, looks like a handmade box. I don't know if it is or not, but the, the box itself, this is the box. It's just a shallow box, square, about probably seven inches, maybe eight inches, mm -hmm. about two inches deep, inch and a half yeah. deep. And the top is just beautiful. North American, or I mean Native American. <laughs> Southwestern. Southwestern. Um, sand art sand art with kachinas yeah those are kachinas right kachina dolls kachina dancers yeah 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 they look like it so 
that's very southwestern. That's very. Yeah. And the back is the back of the lid is sign. It says something. Yeah, it and says, I think it's maybe the artist uh, that wrote it. I'm gonna y, guess. It's Y E I dash B I dash C H E I. I think that's probably Navajo. I bet it's Navajo. Navajo. You know what? We might ask Samantha if she knows. I don't know. Anyway, and then it's by Kida. I don't know if you can read that. Or yeah, not. and there's the artist. Guess who the artist is? So that's kind of a neat thing because so, yeah, it, not really only cool. is it decorative, but it's helpful to oh put your remotes in it, set it in the living room on the table, oh, there and you keep go. your remotes that would in. Be, it. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. This okay. is the last one, the last piece we have today. Yeah, this one. <laughs> this one is, it's very beautiful and it's very delicate. Delicate. I mean, it's 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 not crazed at all, but it uh, it's hand painted and glazed over, and it's got I don't we don't know anyway. Well, it's got a signature on it. And the signature is Marie Louise. Now, if you know anything about German China, there is a, a China manufacturer was that titled the bottom of their plates Marie Louise. And the signature that they title it looks a lot like the signature on this painting. Can you get it closer? So I can get it closer. Um, it looks a lot like that now. So I asked my, I asked my group about it because I was like, we've either got something really spectacular here and have an original Marie Louise or it's somebody else named Marie Louise, but either way, <laughs> she's very talented. Yeah. I just really want to know before I, you know, price it for $35 and, yeah, it Ship might it be off. one of those diamonds, you know. It, it, you don't know. In the rough. It's one of those things I just have to know. I have to check out. So I haven't listed it yet because I'm waiting. Actually, I'm going to get Dr. Lori to look at it. I'm, I don't know if she'll know. It's but, really, you know. Uh, it's like neat. Said, they, it's really neat. This, I it's like they see stitched it. it. Around, the paint around is the, a stitch. Around this orange part. It's the all of this is just perfectly smooth where all this is hand painted mm -hmm. and you obviously see that they glazed over the hand painting. But then they came in later and they put these little rays to give it more effect, I think, around this to look like stitches. Like this mm -hmm. is quilted into the pot. Yeah. And it's you know, it's this is all stitched. And we picked this up at Goodwill. See Goodwill. these little white stitches and the little white stitches up here and, and they go all the way up the side. Like, who gets rid you know? of this? It's gorgeous. Yeah. And this is... Uh, but it was Sun City, so... I obviously think that, that this was probably something that belonged to somebody that may have passed. And when the kids came in to clean out the house, whatever, and that happens like, a lot. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like anything to me. Give yeah. it to Goodwill. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, this is absolutely pristine condition. Uh -huh. It's very pretty. And... Uh, yeah. It's, it's glazed all the way down inside and everything. So it's... it's I would love to know, and I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out before I put it yeah. put it on the market. So yeah. So once in a while, you you just get something that's more unusual. Yeah. This is one of them. This is it. This is one of them. You know. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay. So we have our eBay store, our Etsy store, and you can uh, find them in the description below. In the description right below. Our email address, if you want to send us an email and we'll talk put about it right any across of these, here. maybe before they get listed, mm -hmm. email our email address will be right across here. It's uh, Vinny's Vault at gmail.com and it's V I N N I E S Vault. Well, you'll see that on the screen. Yeah. Vinny's Vault at gmail.com. So please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Yes. Leave us a comment, share. We're, All of that we're stuff. working to. To learn and teach and, you know, just list stuff. So, yeah. so cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our we'll channel. See we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.